Hi friends, we are back in the kitchen for a Trader Joe's haul. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I just went to Trader Joe's. I needed bananas, and honestly, bananas are the reason why I keep going to the grocery store. The last time that I bought bananas, I got a lot, and then I cut them up and froze them, so then I would always have bananas. I ran out, so I had to for sure get bananas, but I also got a lot of other things. And since it's quite a lot as far as a Trader Joe's haul, at least for me goes, I thought I'd share, because who doesn't love Trader Joe's, right? So I'm going to start with this smaller bag first. First thing we have, this is a classic, at least for me, Trader Joe's Crispy Crunchy Ginger Chunk Cookies. They're gluten free, so if you can't have gluten, get these. For everyone else, they're super freaking good. Buttery and rich ginger chunk cookies that melt in your mouth. The ginger pieces are like slightly chewy and then compared to like the super crispy crunch of the cookies it is just like it's texturally delicious it's tasty i mean what's not to love okay we're kind of starting off with like all of the super unhealthy stuff first but when i bagged my stuff i put all the heavy stuff at the bottom so everything on top is like chips and cookies <laughs> so next we have the organic Oh, I did it, you guys. Wait, Melissa, I hope you're watching. So if you don't know, I have a podcast called Snack Time where I talk to my friends about snacks. And my friend Melissa Strong came on and we talked about Trader Joe's Elote Corn Dippers. It has like a super long name. I just call them Elote Chips. And we're like, I wonder why they put such a long name. They like really have to say like what it is, why. Well, this is why, because idiots like me will just buy the regular organic corn chip dippers instead. But do you know what? These are also really good. So I got those on accident. I got the baked cheese crunchies, cheese flavored corn snacks. These are basically Cheetos and my mom really likes Cheetos. So I got these for her and I got these for me. It's the spicy cheese crunchies. So same thing, but spicy like hot Cheetos. Okay, one more chip, salt and vinegar potato chips because they're so good and they're kettle cooked. So I love them. Okay, next I have some T-R-E-A-T-S for the birthday boy. One is a mint of breath bones pack. It has six bones and it says highly digestible minty chew bones for dogs with five natural breath fresheners. Alfalfa, parsley, fennel, dill, and peppermint. I feel like he didn't like, not this exact kind, but we tried to give him like these kind of dental bones before and he didn't like it. So we'll see if he likes these. Also, did I say it's his birthday? Because he turned 11 today. And I also got him these beef recipe rolls. Natural gourmet beef recipe rolls for dogs are great treats for all dogs. They are slow roasted up to 53 hours to enhance their color and flavor. Try breaking them up for small dogs and to use as training treats. Your dog will love the real taste of beef. Fun. And the rest of this bag is bananas. I got 10. Probably leave four out because my dad likes to eat them for breakfast and stuff too. And then I'll freeze the six. I got the tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. We just like always have this at our house because it's so good and I like dip things like you can dip anything in it. I also got avocados number guacamole. I usually get the spicy chunky because that is my favorite guacamole from Trader Joe's but <laughs> well now I'm just dumb but my idea was I was gonna dip the elote chips into this so I was like I really like spicy but if my mom wanted to have some and she doesn't like super spicy, then it might get too spicy between the elote chips and the spicy chunky guacamole. So I got this, but now they're not elote chips. Oh my gosh though, I have the elote seasoning, so I can just put those on the chips like per serving, I guess. Whatever. Okay, so I got that. Next is four pollo asado burritos. These are for my dad. He likes to freeze them and have them, you know, for as a quick quick meal. I also really like these, but my favorite burritos that they have are the black bean and cheese burritos. So good. Best store-bought burrito that you can get. You can actually hold it when you eat it, which is my biggest gripe with 
bur like store-bought burritos, specifically like frozen burritos. These are refrigerated, but we freeze them and then defrost and then heat up and it like works fine. But like, I love these because you can still hold them when you eat it. It's not like a fork and knife situation, which is like, okay, it's fine. But like, for me, part of the fun of burrito is like, you know, like, eating it with your hands. Okay, anyway. Next, and these are for me, are the chicken salads. I got two because maybe my mom might want one or I'll just have two this week. And the ingredients are chicken breast meat, vegetables, crispy noodles on lettuce, with sesame dressing. And I think the vegetables is like cabbage, carrots, I think just cabbage and carrots. Oh, this is so good and the dressing is the best. Next, I got the mandarin orange chicken. It's frozen, it's so easy to make and so delicious. Okay, the next thing I'm so excited because I just recently, like, like literally within the past few months have gotten into scallion pancakes, which is a Korean, dish and they freaking have them. Oh my gosh, it's a pub product of Republic of Korea. Like these are from Korea. But yeah, I'm freaking obsessed with these. So now I'm stoked. I mean, I do want to keep supporting the Japanese market. I do want to keep supporting them and the company that obviously makes the scallion pancakes, but good to know like if I ever move and there's not an Asian market like really close, there's a Trader Joe's and I might go to Trader Joe's, you know, so. I'm gonna try them. Maybe I'll do a video. Maybe I'll do a compare with the Korean brand. That's a good idea. Future me editing. Ooh, I'm so excited for these colorful carrot coins. A blend of lightly seasoned orange, yellow, white, and purple carrots. And that's frozen as well. I also got Asian vegetables with Beijing style soy sauce. Looks good. Never tried this. Excited to try. I got a family style meat lasagna because we were talking about lasagna the other day and I was like, that sounds good. And we we're like, we should have it. And so I was like, boom, frozen at TJ's. Never tried it before, but I'm sure it's good. Ooh, I'm excited to have these back in my life. Steamed chicken soup dumplings filled with a rich and savory broth. These are so bomb. And I've never tried the pork into ginger soup dumplings. I don't think they, I think these have, these gotta be new or they, I've just never seen them because obviously I would've bought them. I've always gotten these and so good. Just chef's kiss, literally. I got string cheese because A, string cheese is good as like a little snack and just good in general. And B, my mom and I wanna try to make Korean corn dogs. This lady on TikTok made them and she did half mozzarella cheese, half hot dog, and then you do like a batter and then like panko and it looks so good. So, mainly bought these for that. Last but not least, we have some beverages. I got this 100% mango juice from Carabao Mangoes, not from Concentrate. I freaking love mango juice, so I'm excited to try this because usually like, white people stores don't have good mango juice, but this is a product of the Philippines, so I feel like it's gonna be good. Cause like, I'm Filipino, so I like the taste that Filipino people create when they make mango juice. And last, but certainly not least, we have two cartons one with oat beverage and one with orange peach mango juice because I'm low on both of these, and I use these to make my smoothie. Okay, so um, that's the haul. <laughs> now I'm going to sanitize all these because yes, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, and even though some people are saying you don't need to sanitize things, I still have been doing it because um, I'm extra afraid of getting uh, the coronavirus. Miss Asthma and I don't need to have another one join the mix. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.